This is real exciting research, which I am glad to bring to you. This is primarily a summary of natural compounds that have been shown in pilot studies. I want to basically emphasize that pilot studies in reference to help mitigate the damage to radiation induced injury. Now, what we're looking at primarily is basically radiotherapy induced mucositis. So there's a context to this. So you're going to see compounds, basically, which you may be unfamiliar with, but a lot of ones which we are familiar with, for example, like beta-glucan or ginkgo biloba, you're not going to see included in this group because there are certain parameters that the research one look at in regard to interactions with other medications and treatments. However, though, just the same, looking at this incredible, incredible collection of basically, or I should say review, of other studies, you're going to see the source of the item uh, from the food source, the properties and its effect in regard to helping alleviate or mitigate the damage to radiation induced injury. And already the mind is a lit because you can recognize that these particular tools per se can have a multitude of functions in a large myriad of scenarios if you understand my drift. But still, let's get right into it as follows. First, let's get into the parameters of why these particular items are chosen and maybe others that you may not recognize were not. But still just the same, as we dig through the research here, which we'll have the links to as well, it is full of just information gold. So let us begin. First, first begin, and also too, the chart which you see there before I begin, I'll have at the end, for those which don't have the luxury of 4K imagery in regard to their graphics, I'm gonna split this page in two, and fill up the page so you can review it at the end of this video if you don't head there already. But to proceed, protective role of natural compounds under radiation-induced therapy, the context of why they chose what they chose. The aim of this review is to describe the most recent evidence on radiation-induced injury and the emerging protective role of natural compounds in preventing and treating this specific damage without compromising treatment efficacy. That's a big word there, without compromising treatment efficacy. So they're looking at compounds which basically can help individuals which may be going through radiotherapy or so on and so forth. But to proceed, the search was based on keywords and phrases containing combination of words such as radiotherapy, mucositis, and natural compounds. In this article, quoting, we primarily include research findings from the years 2005 to 2022. So there's your context of why you're seeing what you're seeing. So as we scroll down the list, you're going to see many which I skipped because I would do nothing. I would love to enjoy nothing more than be able to take the time to go through each one individually. However, though, we're limited on time. So I want to get, just pick out the highlights and then leave you to make these discoveries on your own as you delve into the research. But to proceed as follows. The full study. This is, some, this is like some of the highlights, which are really super, super cool, all right? And I emphasize, super, super cool. The data presented by blah, 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 shows that a diet with antioxidants started 24 hours after lethal radiation exposure, effectively mitigated death mediated by sparing of bone marrow cells, perhaps due to a reduction in reactive oxygen species, ROS, which you'll see a couple of times. Hearing models, moreover, in the same study, containing more antioxidants was shown to be effective in mitigating radiation lethality when it started 24 hours after the radiation exposure. Uh, and it is more effective than if given soon after the exposure because natural products act as scavengers against reactive oxygen species produced after radiation too or as well. Now, the interesting part about this that's kind of interesting uh, as far as correlating, there was another study that just came out yesterday. So January 5th, 2023, which ironically was based upon a single dose antioxidant uh, given to rodents that are exposed to gamma, gamma radiation and just one dose, they can see the benefits of mitigating a lot of the damaging effect of uh, basically ionizing radiation. But that was another study. We're sticking with this one so we can stick with the outcome. But that kind of confirms it. But to proceed, in the uh, blah, wherever it's lost my space, effective given to after exposure, da, da, da. in order to prevent RIOM, remember in the context, radiotherapy induced mucositis, patients often turn to alternative therapies, i.e., antioxidants, as we discussed prior line. 
the most known natural product. This is something just really super cool and cool. At the same time too, they footnote all the information so you can go to the exact study in which they're basically harvesting this information from. But this is just something cool to keep in the back of your head as part of your war chest to proceed. The most known natural product with radio protective effects is propolis. Who would have ever guessed propolis, also known as bee glue, a multi-component hard resin found in beehives. Propolis has been demonstrated to have a positive effect in alleviation of radiotherapy induced mucositis, probably due to its antioxidant properties. But ironically, that's not the ones which are fully in regards to the research, but they did add those in as to give context of potential future research as well. Even though propolis sounds cool on its own, but most people, what they do, they hear about radiation, ionizing radiation, or this, or that. What do they grab? Potassium iodide. Not to basically uh, alleviate the importance of that, but you're gonna see there's so many more tools that are out there, which can yield tremendous benefit just besides protecting the thyroid, but to proceed itself. First, you notice I'm skipping a few of them. Now we're going to lutein. Lutein, examine if the translocation frequency of bio, uh, uh, frequency is a biomarker of cumulative DNA of pilots. We're exposed, now, please forgive me, let me read that in a little bit more uh, not choppy fashion. Examine the translocation frequency of pilots which are exposed to elevated levels of cosmic radiation, I'm only taking excerpts, could be associated with intakes of specific carotenoids. Carot carotenoids. They conclude that a high combined intake of vitamins and lutein, zeaxanthin, zeaxanthin, from food or a diet high in their food sources could be effective against DNA damage under radiation. So you see what I mean? There's lutein, and basically there are some of the studies reference the pilots, and they yield some benefit. But there's an excerpt which I took and wanted to deliver to you to read. I can't read every paragraph in full. I would do nothing more than enjoy doing that for you, but the length of the video will be over an hour, and that'd be kind of tough to hold our attention per se. Next, gallic acid, GA. Gallic acid, also too, to reiterate, the sources of this, the food sources, we will present at the end as well, again, on that chart for your convenience. Gallic acid chelates transition metal ions that cause free radical damage in the human body. Moreover, gallic acid inhibited the peroxidation of membrane lipids leading to lower mortality after, we see a little Y there, big or gamma, so to say, gamma radiation in rats. To proceed forward, ferulic acid, major, major up and comer, to proceed. It's a strong membrane antioxidant in humans and is noted for its power to be protective against cancer, colds, flu, skin aging, and muscle wasting. Many people haven't even heard of ferulic acid, but it is a rising superstar, superstar, and muscle wasting. Ferulic acid has been demonstrated to be a potent antioxidant that terminates free radical chains. And basically the study, which are quoting, you see like 102, has demonstrated for the first time the protective action of ferulic acid in preventing intestinal damage due to radiation in animal models. Again, pilot study, promise. Future human studies can be conducted to confirm the information, but the research did a wonderful job of accumulating all this data for you to review and future research. Chlorogenic acid. Various scientific evidence shows that chlorogenic acids have anti-inflammatory, anti-mutagenic, DNA damage inhibition, and antioxidation properties. It has been demonstrated that chlorogenic acid is able to reduce mortality in animal, animal models after gamma radiation exposure. Moreover, chlorogenic acid decreases the DNA damage induced by radiation in lymphocytes. To proceed forward, cinematic acid. Studies have reported that cinematic acid shows antioxidant, and antimicrobial, anti-cancer, neuroprotective, anti-inflammatory, and anti-diabetic properties. Cinematic acid terminates radical chain reactions by donating electrons. They react with radicals to form stable products. Super cool. To proceed, epigallogatogen, gallate. People are often familiar with EGCG from green tea. To proceed, EG, ECGC, here I go, significantly improved the viability of human skin cells that are radiated with x-rays and reduced x-ray radiation induced apoptosis. Moreover, the same authors have demonstrated that EGCG was safe and able to determine, determine the relief of mucositis symptoms. 
So another powerful tool. Resveratrol, another major up-and-comer. They also observed, no, I'll take an excerpt. You see if the whole paragraph's huge, but it's taking a line to grab your attention. It's kind of like clickbait, but with science. To proceed, they observed that this natural product detects and kills genetically mutated cells. So you see how this war chest, or basically you begin to build in regard to potential help mitigate uh, some of the damage from radiotherapy. Again, work with your medical professional, but still, just the same, you see the promise. Rosemaric, rosemaric acid can provide substantial cytoprotection protection against the adverse effects of UVB radiation by modulating cellular antioxidant systems. I know a lot of you think, well, why don't you put that in a suntan lotion? Uh, being a potential medical agent for, again, reactive oxygen species-induced skin diseases. All right. Again, there's so many. Here's another tidbit of information, which is super cool. Curacetin. All right. One of my favorite supplements by far. But this information, again, is not well known. So that's why I enjoy bringing it to your attention. Curacetin. It has been demonstrated that cal calendula extract rich in antioxidants, especially quercetin, 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 could be effective in decreasing the intestinal, the intestinal, the intensity, or it's late here, you could tell, intensity of radiotherapy-induced oral mucositis for 40 patients with neck and head cancers under radiotherapy or concurrent chemoradiotherapy protocols were randomly assigned to receive the 2% calendula extract mouthwash or placebo. At the end of the study, calendula gel could be effective in decreasing the intensity of radiotherapy induced oral mucositis during the treatment with antioxidant action, partly responsible for the protective effect. Again, just an excerpt, wonderful information that runs into the whole gambit in regard to quercetin, but still just the same. You think calendula, you don't think quercetin, but here is possibly why it is beneficial. And again, for basically mouth and skin injuries as well. To conclusion, Again, this is the caveat. This one, the research where they're trying to do is they're trying to gather all the natural compounds they can as far as information is concerned to see which ones are the most promising before they continue with human studies. And so think of a collection of great natural compounds that could yield benefit in regard to other ionizing forms of radiation, ionizing radiation, or other types of radiation scenarios, but in the radiation-induced mucositis, primarily to proceed. Conclusion. Numerous in vitro studies and animal model investigations have shown that several natural products may protect against cumulative DNA damage and intestinal injuries after ionizing radiation. That's the IR. Exposition. Prevent radiotherapy complications, especially in the treatment of head and neck cancers, and that these substances are able to determine the relief of mucositis symptoms. Unfortunately, the cavinet, 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 caveat. It is still possible to determine and evaluate what would be the recommended doses. It is still not possible to left out that not to determine and evaluate what would be recommended doses until human studies are conducted. You see a few human studies, but still that to be a little larger in order to get the full, uh, basically honing in on the ideal dosages per se. Yet otherwise, milligrams per day of natural compounds able to control and reduce mucositis symptoms due to the lack of enough evidence. However, it would be interesting to determine an evaluation of recommended doses to create nutraceutical supplements in order to alleviate radiotherapy injuries, especially mucositis. All right, before I leave you, I want to show you the full study. I want to make sure you recognize the full study link is going to be on the YouTube channel, TikTok, Twitter. There's only so much room to put there, so follow to YouTube, follow the link, and it'll be there for you, and I'll keep it there just for future use regardless of what other scenarios may partake in our lives. But to proceed, gratitude. I know it's repetitive. I know I reiterate it every single week. Gratitude to the researchers to bring this all together for us, which basically could have huge, huge benefit. And again, to reiterate once again, a, vener vener a variety of scenarios. But still just the same. I am always humbled you watch and I hope to continue bringing you this great information as time proceeds. And thank you gratitude and i'll see you all next time here comes the larger excerpt and again au revoir catch you next time bye